Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is what to wear to acting auditions. So let's get started. Basic things you should wear to acting auditions are fitted jeans, but you need to wear a pair of good quality dark blue jeans. Um, make sure they don't have rips in them. They're not faded. Mm, good quality, not faded. Don't have holes in them because um, you want to make sure that you are coming as your best and if you have to go out and buy a new pair of jeans that don't have holes in them that fit you well, you need to do that. Make sure they fit so you don't have to wear a belt with them. Fitted, good quality, non-holy, non-faded jeans. There's your bottoms and some um, nice shoes, preferably not heels, um, keds, ballet flats, that type of stuff, converse. Okay, so now that we've covered the bottoms, the tops are the most important part. So what you wanna do is if you, you're gonna dress to suggest the role, not dress as if you got the role. So if you don't know what type of character, all you know is it's a, it's gonna be a cold read, you know that they're casting for all ages, you just don't know anything about like the type of movie or the type of character, you can go in basics. So you wanna find shirts that flatter your skin tone um, and like in jewel tones. So like royal blue and burgundy um, are gonna be, or doesn't even have to be burgundy, you could do hunter green, um, the royal blue, Figure out what colors look best on your skin tone and go over there. So find out what makes your eyes pop because eyes are what their eyes are kind of the window to the soul. So in this case, eyes are really good for for actors because bringing your eyes make you pop and make you more memorable. And you want to be memorable for good things and not the wrong reasons. So don't ever come complete costume for a video or for an in-person audition. So if it's a goth role, do not come in all black, sullen, sad. You just look like you don't want to be there and you're going to become memorable and they're not going to, they might not cash you because they don't want you unless in their thing they say, come in as depressed and goth looking as you can, then wear black. Wear a gray t-shirt and a black hoodie. Wear a black t-shirt and a gray hoodie. Black t-shirt, black hoodie. I mean, but stay away from, unless they specifically request that, stay away from white, red, and black. Those are the three colors to steer clear from um, for auditions. Now, in like the movie, they'll put you in white, they'll put you in red, they'll put you in black. But for auditions, you want to go with jewel tone colors. At least that's what I've read. So, and that's if you're going for basic, like you don't know anything about, besides like the movie, a generalish description, you'll want like regular colors. But what I recently learned is you can dress to suggest a character, but not necessarily in full costume. So if you're auditioning for a period piece, what you could do, don't like use, again, I said don't use white or cream. This is all I have that's period-ish looking, um, is like a button up shirt that buttons all the way up and it looks like it is striped but it looks like it could be a costume or a shirt from the like 1800s, you know, Little House on the Prairie vibes is what I'm getting from the shirt. Um, that is something you could wear just to give the impression of the prairie look would be something you'd want to find a shirt that looks like that. So if you're looking for something similar to that, make sure you have like up online, you could look on, you could look up like, what types of clothes they wore on Little House on the Prairie, and see if you can find a shirt that mimics something like that. If you're auditioning for a rich person from that time frame, look up, I mean, you could still look up that, just make it look fancier, I don't know. Um, there's so many things you could look up to find out what to wear for a video audition for someone in the 1800s, um, who is not just Little House on the Prairie, um, or not just like the Ingalls family, um, it would be like, like what they wore in the 1800s, what the wealthy wore in the 1800s. There you go. You'll get more, f like you'll get fancier ideas instead of just a button up shirt, maybe has a lace collar or anything like that. Um, so do your research on what type of role it is. Um, so if it's the 1800s and it's wealthy, look up and see if you can find something that fits that. Again, another costume you could wear to, not costume, never ever go to auditions 
in costume. They want to see what you look like as a normal person. I know, I just said don't come in costume, but this is a Western shirt. You could, you could, if you were playing a country anything, anything country, you could wear a plaid shirt and then just put a, and you could leave it open or you could button it, I suggest. Um, button it up and then just wear like a lace tank top or cami underneath it. Um, this is a lace ribbed cami that actually I got with the shirt. Um, and then that will be your like country look. And so that way you can suggest a character, but not necessarily be the character. Um, another option besides this shirt, you could wear a plain denim shirt. So if you don't want to go completely or you do it, you did the audition and you're like, I do not like that color on the camera. It just looks funny. I'm not sure it's me. You could go with a plain denim shirt. So it would just be same type of thing, kind of Western looking. So you're, you're being true to yourself, but you're also hinting at the character. And that's what you want to do is you want to hint at the character, not necessarily become the character. And you could do the same thing. You could wear the same shirt underneath it. Um, so literally you just change from that shirt to the shirt. And you know what? You might be like, hey, you know what? I like this a whole lot better. And there you go. You're hinting at the character. So all of these, you want to hint at your character. You want to suggest the character. You don't want to be the character. Obviously you want to be the character in your lines and how you say them, but you don't want to, obviously you would not wear a printed shirt like with horses on it. No, that's not what you'd want to wear. Lastly, actually it's a jacket with two looks. Um, you could even wear your trusty lace cami that you wore for your others, okay? So what you want to do is like girl next door. Girl next door, you could wear the plain shirts, the burgundy, blue, hunter green, whatever jewel tone shirt you want this flattering. You could take a jean jacket and wear, I have two shirts under here so that way I can do this a lot easier. And then wear just a flowy little tank top underneath that is orange, well, mine's corally orange, but whatever color you choose, um, just put a tank top underneath it. Then you could go printed tank top. So, you know, just a little bit of print, a little bit of buttons down the front, which you might not really be able to see, but if you do, at least it's like a little print and it's girl next door, preppy, uh, preppy teenager, preppy cheerleader, those type of roles. It's a definitely a high school look or even college, like girl next door, freshman, sophomore in college. Okay, junior, senior in college. That is my suggestions on dressing for a character. But remember, you guys can also just wear plain shirts. And that's what I did for a long time until recently, like literally I'd say probably in the last year-ish, I started looking into really dressing to the character, or towards the character. And so I recently did an audition where if you saw my get ready with me for audition, I wore this shirt. And then, so I did a take in this one, then I did a different take in this one. And then I've done, I created a script and a scene and wore this shirt as a country, like 1800s. So it just depends on what type of character you're doing. You could totally pick anything. I mean, just just to suggest your character. So read the character breakdown, read what the movie is, um, get a sense for your character. And if there is none, and you don't even remotely know what type of video this is, wear basic. Basic is safe because you're not assuming the character or something. Like you could create a backstory, but if there's not really a character breakdown, you don't want to. Okay, so if there's not a character breakdown and it's a country movie, you're going to want to wear like a denim shirt or a plaid shirt, flannel shirt, something like that. Um, maybe not flannel, but a denim shirt or a plain shirt um, because it's safer to wear a plain shirt if you don't know than to just assume that your character is this and be completely wrong by the time the movie comes out. Those are my suggestions and my tips for how you can dress to suggest your role or just to what to wear to an acting audition. Um, yeah, remember, have fun with it and do your research on, besides what I've just told you, you can look up um, like any additional, don't wear stripes. Don't wear, I mean, the print in this plaid shirt is not, does not throw off the camera lens. And actually the print in 
This shirt either does not throw off camera lens um, on my video camera. What you wanna do is not wear stripes. Do not wear bright colors. You wanna wear jewel tones um, or muted type colors. Fitted skinny jeans. Guys, if you're watching this, your jeans need to fit well, not be saggy. Like, you want to make sure your jeans fit you well, not necessarily be skinny jeans, just be like straight leg jeans. Um, and then same thing, well, not girl next door, guy next door. You could do a jean jacket, you could do a hoodie over a, over a t-shirt, something like that. Um, but clearly I did not do a whole lot of research into what guys wear for acting auditions. Um, but yeah, that's like the basic stuff. You could still do the same things for like Western or a plaid shirt and stuff like that. So that is my suggestions for you guys. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button because I create content like this. Um, at, I'm gonna try at the beginning of every month to give you an acting tip one week and the next week a modeling tip or reverse the two and make it the modeling tip then the acting tip. You never know. Um, and then the other two to three weeks, depends on how many Fridays in the month, are just gonna be videos of my life. If you like this, let me know in the comments. Also, drop me a comment of what types of videos you would like to see in the coming year. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hi guys. Hi guys. Basic is always safe because it, Basic is safe because it's safe, if that makes sense. Um, so, if you guys like this, I will see you guys. If you guys like this, I'll see you guys next week. Um.